so this is a region of mountains you see they have created these roads cutting the mountains and then there are roads in between so that's why you have these curves also you have to be careful and uh, you see there are trucks going on the trucks can be only on this side of the road so we are on the fast track and the trucks are supposed to be on the slow track their speed limit is 100 so like we have 120 for them it is 100 they cannot cross the limit of 100 here you see there is the uh, speed there on the board 100 for the trucks mountains everywhere so you have a great view when you are driving if you are a here another camera is here a petrol station Oman oil so yeah if you like trekking if you like mountains then for sure this view is for you you will love driving here for sure ski so another small place and then uh, the boards are always there in both the languages in Arabic as well as in uh, English to make it easy for everyone to know the cuts and the driveways on my left you can see the there are houses there people live around this place somewhere between the mountains driving at 120 uh, 130 sometimes it goes to but if you set a cruise it will be 120 uh, to be very careful with it is okay now there's a car which is trying to be very fast we'll change the track give away in front of us so we have to be slow let the cars go and then we go back to the fast track
will see a radar coming soon. So they have the latest cameras, radars everywhere on the road. They usually come after uh, every kilometer, but sometimes they can come early also. So it's better you just drive at the speed which is on the road so you see the radar is right there Here. so if your speed is more than 120 it is not safe but then if you you have a grace of 15 so if your speed is like more than 135 or uh, between 135 and 140 your your photo is clicked so there's a strong flash that comes on your face and then it hits your heart very hard <laughs> and then you can't stop thinking about it <laughs> for at least a day there we just saw a hidden camera which was here so people you know if uh, they try to over speed after this uh, camera the one that you saw before the big one then there are some hidden cameras also so if you are not caught there you can be caught a few miles away so better be careful drive according to the limit given and we, when you have such nice roads which are really well maintained you feel like you should you must follow the rules so you see there's another place Samail coming after Samail I think it just takes around one hour one more hour or 40 minutes to reach So we are almost there now we will take this uh, diversion you know which is taking us to Matra Sohar. Here we are on the slow track now. You should be very careful because if you miss one cut of the road you are gone for maybe another 10-15 kilometers. So this is the way that we have to take. We are going towards, uh, like we are almost in Muscat, but we are going to Mabela, which is a bit before the main city of Muscat. Now we are on a flyover. This exit will take you back to the road you were coming from, but you don't have to go back. So. The other exit, oh, there will be cars coming from there as well as you have to join the same street. So you have to be slow and careful. Okay, so we are there, almost there and we will be joining the expressway very soon. So you see we were coming from Nizwa. So if you want to go back to Nizwa, you take the other way. But we are going to the other one, the diversion, this exit which will take us to Mabela. So that is the expressway there which is huge. Three lane road. is very busy. You look 
at the roads and you will understand we are in a busy area. This is the, the third lane which is the slowest one. Now once we find some place in the second lane we will go there that we can drive a bit faster. so many cars we are coming from every which is not a busy place even as well but once you're in Muscat and you know this is the express way like this is not the highway or the main road of the city this is the express way which is also very busy the speed is same 120 and you have the same race why uh, is the the other reason that you have to be very careful with the speed is once there is a flash you have to pay minimum 10 omani rials and if it is more like if you are you know you were driving at 150 or something your fine would be 30 umani real and it increases like this which comes as a shock to your pocket right so you have to be careful with the speed this is al khud al khud village is again a very old area uh, of oman is on the right and the same road you can take to the Sultan Qaboos University the most famous very well known university worldwide as well which is a more which is one of the most popular malls here right now it is a new one also inaugurated in 2020 and here we are in Alma Vela so we'll take the exit and we'll be in Mabela. so we have reached the destination it was good being with you and hope we'll be together again soon take care have a nice day bye thank you